Hey, uh, welcome. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, the point of this video is about uh, celebrities, uh, sports athletes, and for lack of a better word, celebrity worship uh, that's going on, especially in America, especially in the last few decades, as a pretty dominant topic, and especially with social media, that uh, more and more it seems like uh, the average uh, everyday citizen is learning more and more about these celebrities. And this uh, obsession is uh, very interesting to look at in terms of the more you read about these celebrities in their personal lives, like on Twitter or Facebook, the more you realize that they're just like you and me. They're just ordinary people uh, that have this thing called fame that just happen to have careers or jobs that uh, put them up on that uh, pedestal, for example. But they have their everyday problems like you and me, and they have their everyday lives like you and me, and that, in essence, what I'm saying is they're nothing special per se. The more you know about them, the more they're not special or gifted or like they're better than you. Because they're not better than you or me or any of us. Because they are one of us, okay? It just so happens that they have that uh, special status in society. But as for them being like some gifted geniuses or that, you know, that they're better than you, just come on, no they're not. No they're not. And I really have no problem if people uh, obsess with them, like obsess on sports stars or uh, gossip and stuff like that, especially if you're making money off it. You know, some people uh, make uh, revenue off it. Maybe they're writers or they're photographers or have a career based on it. And if that's the case, that's pretty cool. You know, you're following your passion, getting paid for it. But I think for most people, it's like you're not making a career off it. And uh, this over-obsession is not a good thing. It's like, as I remember someone uh, once saying on the radio that uh, you think these celebrities give a rat's ass about you and how your personal life is and how you live your life truth is they don't know you and the truth is they don't even care about you you know why should they care about you if they don't know you I mean they don't know your struggles they don't know your burdens and what you're going through Financi financially physically uh, how you live your life I mean you look at for example in 2011 this media obsession with Charlie Sheen this dude has been making, with the back end, he's been making two million an episode for what I find is an unfunny comedy. I tried to watch that show, could never watch a full episode. To me, it's just not funny. And yet, two million an episode. One of the richest uh, TV people you could get, okay? Chances are, if you're watching this video, you don't have two million dollars and what to amass two million dollars for everyday citizens would probably take you most of your lifetime okay most of us will be burdened with financial struggle and yet uh, some guys like Charlie Sheen do they appreciate just how much they've been given uh, do they really appreciate it you know can they appreciate it or are they so living in a bubble and an illusion that they don't see uh, the world from an ordinary person's viewpoint. And a lot of these celebrities, they'll be telling you how to live your life and things you should be doing in your life, how you should raise your family, but they themselves do not know how to raise their family or have control of their life. You look at people like uh, Martin Sheen, the father of Charlie Sheen. You know, who's Martin Sheen to tell you how to live your life or raise a family when he himself can't control his life and family? Well, look at uh, John Voight, the father of Angelina Jolie. Uh, it's pretty much uh, no secret that Angelina Jolie hates him. Okay? And they'll tell you how you should be doing this or you should be doing that. But they themselves, do they practice what they preach? You have uh, some uh, people like uh, Al Gore and some of these other people how you should uh, live in uh, 
the environment and take care of it and all of that. And yet by the very amount of excess they have, they don't practice what they preach. You know, a lot of these people have mansions and you're living in an apartment or a small house and just the energy it uses to fuel their mansion in terms of heating, electricity and all that, that's more in excess than most people will use spending just normal in terms of this whole thing called carbon emissions, right? A scam to get money out of the people. And they'll tell you how, you know, you gotta conserve this and conserve that, yet they don't conserve. You know, they don't limit themselves. Yeah. And it's like, what to think about it? It's like, build your own life and worry about building your own uh, future, your own, uh, your own place in the world. You know, think about yourself, your family, your friends, the things that are important to you. Don't be so obsessed and thinking about these other people who you don't know, they don't know you, and that they're not going to improve your life by following them. You know, if you work on yourself more than, and devote more time working on yourself than following them all the time, then you'll be better in yourself in the long term, I think. Because following all of these celebrities is just, in essence, I think, like hell, unless you're making money off it, following them is a waste of time. They're not special, they're not gifted, they're not better than you, they're not uh, up there on a pedestal. Just ordinary people who live uh, lives that had that thing called fame. So, yeah, I went a little here and there on the topic wise, but I think you, you get the gist of what I'm saying. And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.